And once again, we have the 57 Chevy featured in this video. Now, unfortunately, this is not going to be a restoration or a custom video, but more of an experiment. And I decided to do it on camera. And this silly experiment came to me when I was driving. Unfortunately, I do drive a lot for work, which gives me a lot of time to think about silly things. So this is Perma Blue. I actually do some mild firearm restorations, and I use this a lot for bluing barrels, slides, what have you. That nice shiny finish you'll see on like a 1911, that even finish is not a paint. It's not a powder coat, it's actually a bluing process. That's what we're going to do here. So we've got our cotton ball, we're going to go ahead and soak that in some of the bluing solution. And we're going to take our heat gun and heat it up hot. Too hot to touch, but not hot enough to melt anything. Now this is still a cold bluing, even though I'm heating it up. In order to get a hot bluing, you have to get it really hot. And this is how I typically would do it on like a rifle barrel. I heat it up as hot as I can really get it with a heat gun, and then I apply the solution. It works really well. Now on a Hot Wheels, I wasn't sure how it would react. And you'll see here in a bit, it's not really great. But I wanted to try it, something different. So I continue heating applying and this is the same thing I would do with a rifle usually about 10 coats now I only end up doing five on here you can see it smoking when I apply it and it's not really working out that well pretty much what I expected so then I just go ahead and do a total cold bluing just dab it on there without heating up the casting at all let it sit for about 15 minutes wipe it off with a towel and then repeat repeat, rinse, repeat, that kind of thing. So after five coats, just keep on doing that. You'll see that mark on the roof. That would not take the actual bluing at all. And there's spots all over the car that would not take the bluing. So part of that is preparation, but I think the bigger part of that is these castings are mixed with all kinds of impurities. Who knows what's in there? And this just tells us that it's not all metal, which is what I expected anyway. So if you're putting these Hot Wheels in your oven at 300 degrees, there's a very good chance it will melt. That's why when I'm baking paint, it's usually at 220 degrees. So don't do it. And this is after five coats of the bluing. It gives it like a rat rod look, almost like primer. And surprisingly, this is very similar to the results we would get with a gun barrel minus the spots. Now we take our triple zero steel wool. And we're going to polish up the roof. Again, the same thing I would do with a gun barrel and this brings out the shine and gets you that nice shiny finish. You can see there where it's actually taken some of that bluing minus the spots and it's give it a bluing look. I'm very surprised. I didn't expect the casting to take any of the bluing if it did minimal but this took most of it. There's a closer look at that roof also end up using a steel wool on the passenger side as well but you'll see here it does not take very well it's mostly just spotty not as well as the roof at all but you could actually leave this on here for that rat rod effect as i mentioned earlier there's the driver's side you can see most of it actually took and we will eventually end up finishing this 57 chevy just not in this video i just had this fun little experiment pop into my mind and i had to try it Hopefully you like it. If you see anything in the video you'd like to purchase for yourself, be sure to check out the links below the video description. I have an Amazon links to everything I use. And as always, thanks for watching.